Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magenta 2 Mobicool Delivery Boy app and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the uh, backend configuration that is required for this particular mobile application for the delivery boy and we'll be showing you the uh, workflow as well at the customer front and the delivery boy as well so uh, before we proceed further let me give you a small gist uh, regarding this particular Mobicool Delivery Boy app Basically, this application builds a link between the Magento 2 web store owner and the delivery guys via the mobile app itself. Through this app, the admin can assign a delivery boy to an order and can track them as well. Apart from that, the delivery guy will also be able to chat with the admin and the delivery guy can update the status of the received order by accepting or rejecting the assigned order for delivery. Notifications are also sent out uh, by uh, to the admin and the delivery guy uh, with respect to the orders. And on the customer front, a customer can place an order. After that, when the order is assigned to a delivery guy, the customer can check the status of the order that gets displayed under the My Order section for that particular order. And uh, after the admin, after the uh, delivery guy picks up the order. A tracking tab is displayed at the customer front from where the customer can track the particular order that is going to be delivered by the delivery boy. So uh, we'll uh, be taking you to the admin backend panel first and we'll be showing you how uh, to configure this mobile application. And uh, in the next video, we'll be showing you the admin uh, mobile app workflow and uh, for the delivery guys as well. And in third video, I'll be showing you how the customers would be able to make use of the same and place the orders and uh, uh, the rest of the things as well. So let me uh, go ahead and let me uh, take you to the admin backend panel first. So here I'm at the uh, Magento web store backend panel. So I'll be logging into my admin uh, panel first. So now uh, what happens is that after you've installed this uh, delivery boy app, uh, what you need to do is you need to configure uh, some uh, initial settings for the uh, mobile app. So uh, what we'll do is we'll navigate through stores and then configuration. And on the configuration page uh, under the web cool block here, uh, we have the delivery boy sub menu option. So we'll be tapping that up and this would bring up the delivery boy basic configuration settings that are required before making use of this particular uh, app. So here the admin needs to set up the warehouse address. So basically this uh, warehouse address is basically, uh, basically a fixed uh, uh, address and from this fixed address the delivery boy will pick up uh, the orders uh, that the admin has received uh, uh, for his uh, products and uh, after that we have the latitude and the longitude so here the admin can enter the geographical dimensions of the address from where the pickup can be done by the delivery guys so you need to enter the latitude and longitude for your uh, warehouse address thereafter you can uh, type in the google map api key which is used to display the location uh, for the uh, for the for the warehouse as well as for the uh, delivery guys then you can set up the delivery range in kilometers basically uh, this is the range whatever number you are enter here would be the delivery range for the shipping method now uh, for the admin email address here uh, what needs to be done is that the mail ID of the user is defined who will be the admin of the delivery boy app so whosoever is the uh, admin of the uh, delivery boy app his email address is to be entered under the admin email address thereafter we have allowed uh, shipping methods and uh, here the uh, admin can choose the shipping method uh, that will be applicable uh, for the delivery boy so these would be available for the customers to select as well so uh, this was the uh, initial uh, basic configuration for the uh, delivery boy uh, app for the Magento 2 platform so uh, after we are done here we'll just tap on the save configuration button to save our configuration and 
and uh, after that what we can do is we need to navigate to the delivery boy uh, menu that's on the side panel here as you can see so here uh, under the delivery boy we have a number of uh, options that need to be configured so the very last one is the delivery by boy configuration basically you can navigate to that uh, configuration through stores then uh, configuration then under the web cool block you'll find the delivery by boy basic configuration otherwise if you want to reach it uh, quickly you can directly tap on the delivery boy configuration and this would bring up uh, the same section uh, very quickly so as uh, you can uh, set it up uh, much faster in a way so uh, let me take you back now so uh, under the delivery boy we have the delivery boy dashboard manage delivery boy manage delivery boy rating express delivery shipping manage delivery boy orders and delivery boy configuration so let's go through each of them one by one so let's open the delivery boy dashboard first so here we are on the section for the delivery boy dashboard so basically uh, here we have the order graph sales graph today's orders and the delivery boy location so from the drop down you can choose uh, the current month last seven days last 24 uh, hours and uh, accordingly it would be displaying the uh, uh, graph with respect to the selection that you made for the uh, time lapse then we have the sales graph so uh, here you can choose uh, the same and you can check uh, how many sales uh, have been made uh, within that period under the today's orders uh, you can check uh, the orders uh, that you have uh, received from the uh, admin so basically the uh, admin can check the total orders uh, for uh, for each of the respective days uh, for the delivery boys and lastly we have the delivery boy location so I'll tap on that so that was uh, about the delivery boy dashboard that the admin can uh, see from the admin backend panel now after that we have the manage delivery boy let me open that up so under this section the admin can manage the already created uh, delivery boys or can add a new delivery boy as well by tapping the add delivery boy button on the top right hand corner so uh, under the actions uh, the admin can disable enable or delete any of the uh, a delivery boys that the admin has created so uh, to create a new one the admin needs to tap on the add delivery boy button here and this brings up the section where a new delivery boy can be created by the admin here we can upload the image uh, for the uh, for the delivery boy so I'll just uh, be adding one ra random image then we have the name email mobile number vehicle type vehicle number password so we'll just fill up these details let me show you how we can uh, create a delivery by thereafter so let me say the, this as peter peter at webhool.com let me uh, enter my mobile number uh, now the admin needs to select the type of the uh, vehicle that this particular uh, delivery boy would be using so we'll choose a bike we can set up the vehicle number as well then we can set the password for this particular uh, delivery guy and uh, We can enter the address as well for the uh, for the delivery boy. And uh, lastly, uh, we'll choose the delivery boy status as enabled. And lastly, we'll tap on the save delivery button so as to save the uh, delivery boy. So I'll just show you. So here is a uh, Peter that uh, we just added, and that's one more. Uh, what we say as a delivery guy so you can also edit it by tapping the edit link here under the actions column so yeah any of the created ones you can uh, edit anytime and you need to enter the password and confirm password so as to uh, save the particular changes that you made 
so that was about the uh, management of the uh, delivery boys now uh, we can check the manage delivery boy rating let me take you to this uh, section so basically what happens is that when the customer is also using the mobile application after the order has been purchased and uh, has been delivered to the customer the customer can uh, give ratings and can uh, send out what we say as the uh, ratings for the uh, particular uh, delivery guy so uh, right now uh, we don't have any uh, ratings here so uh, the admin can disapprove approve or delete any of the uh, ratings that the customers have uh, given to the delivery guys so this was about this particular section here that's the managed delivery boy rating so uh, the customers can rate through the mobile app itself so i'll be showing you that as well in the coming video then we have the express delivery shipping let me open that up so uh, under this uh, section uh, the admin can choose the shipping method that would be displayed to the customers uh, while they are trying to check out so uh, here we can uh, configure the express few hour delivery so uh, we need to set up accordingly as per our requirement there then uh, we have the managed delivery boy orders so under this section the admin can manage the delivery boy orders uh, so for that what the admin can do is for example we have veronica and the uh, customer name the delivery boy is john taylor order number 19 and we can tap here on the link under the action column and this brings up the section uh, for the uh, order details now here uh, the admin can assign a delivery boy to this particular order that we have just seen so with that the admin needs to tap on the assign delivery boy uh, menu option and from the drop down the admin can choose the delivery boy uh, uh, who will be is uh, who will be receiving this particular uh, delivery assignment so after that uh, you just need to tap on the assign to delivery boy button apart from that uh, under the uh, the comment section the uh, admin can see the comments that the uh, delivery boy has made and uh, the admin can also uh, submit the comments uh, comments for the same now let me take you to the uh, and lastly we have the delivery boy configuration so it is the same configuration that we talked about initially the initial basic configurations so uh, I've uh, taken you through all these uh, options here the delivery boy dashboard how to manage the delivery boy and add a new one manage delivery boy ratings express delivery shipping the shipping method that would be uh, provided to the customers at the checkout time uh, i also showed uh, how to manage delivery boy orders uh, wherein uh, the admin can choose uh, basically uh, the delivery boy for this particular order by uh, selecting the delivery boy and then assigning uh, tapping the assign to delivery boy button so uh, so that was much about the delivery boy uh, sub menu options that need to be con configured how uh, the uh, admin can check the delivery boy dashboard how can the admin manage delivery boys and how the manage delivery boy ratings and the rest of the options as well so uh, that was much about the uh, machine to move cool delivery boy app uh, and i hope uh, this video helped you somewhat somewhat and uh, basically i just uh, gave you the initial uh, tidbits for the uh, configuration of this particular module and i showed you how the admin can uh, do the rest of the operations under the movie cool option that we have uh, under the delivery boy option that we have and these uh, are the options that are to be configured so uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this plugin then you can always get back to us at support at webcool.com or you may raise ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com so in the next video i'll be showing you the admin and the delivery guy uh, process how they can access their uh, mobile application how can the admin assign the uh, orders to a particular uh, delivery boy and how the delivery boys can basically uh, submit their uh, comments and uh, how they can basically process and deliver the product uh, to the customer itself so for that uh, we'll be checking our second video as well 
and thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.